Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about suckers. No, not those kind of suckers. I'm talking about the suckers on a tomato plant. The little growth that comes out between the leaf and the main stem, that's what we're going to be talking about today. This line of uh, tomatoes right here was started from suckers, actually third generation right here, and several people asked about how I did it, and I'm going to show you just how simple it is to root suckers. Like everything else in gardening, there are a ton of ways to do it. All of them work. I'm just going to show you the simple way what I do to get them ready for the hydroponic stuff. Right here is a good example of a sucker that's big enough to be rooted. This is at the top of a big beef plant. I've intentionally let this one go ahead and grow out a little bit. And you actually got another one, smaller one, on the back side of it here. When it comes to cutting these things off, You'll hear a lot of different things. Some people say get you a sterile knife, a razor or something to make sure you got it nice and clean so you don't have any disease problems. For me, I just get a pair of sharp snips or a pair of scissors and just cut that thing right off. And just as soon as you get that thing cut, I keep a cup of water right close by. Just take the stem and stick it right down in the water. What I've been doing to make it easy on the rooting process is using the little uh, grow plugs like this brand right here is Root Riot. There are some other brands. I have used the other ones too. This just happens to be what I have right now. But these little things right here, very easy to work with. What I do is just take the uh, scissors or a screwdriver or something and just open that hole up a little bit in there so I can put my sucker in it. They're already come pre-moistened. If you get some that are dried out, you can just uh, add water to it and uh, put the moisture back in this thing. That should be enough in here to get the sucker rooted. The next step is optional. I use a rooting hormone, but plenty of other people do not. Again, if you want to be technical about it, you're supposed to take your rooting hormone and pour a little bit out on a spoon or something like that on a piece of paper and then rub your sucker in it. I've always done it. Just put it inside the little container, do it like that, get some on it, and stick it right down in here. And this little brandy wine right here is all set to go. We'll take the little big beef, put a little bit on there, stick it right down in the hole, nothing to it. And then what I'll do is take a 10-20 tray with some of these uh, four cell packs in it, stick them in, and then I would just take my suckers and stick them right down in here like that. The little rooting plugs work extremely well, but you can use uh, Rockwell cubes. If you've seen uh, Slee Stack's rule, seen some of his videos, he uses the little, I think, one and a half or two inch uh, Rockwell cubes to root his uh, Hoy tomatoes. I'll try to put a link down below so you can go look and see how he does it. Everybody does things a little bit differently. As long as you get good results, that's what counts. The next thing is extremely important. You need to get these out of direct sunlight. Get them somewhere where they are protected. Just like when you go to the hospital and you get cut pretty bad, uh, hospital, doctor, whatever, you go back home, you need time to recuperate. These little guys right here are seriously wounded right now. They need time to recuperate. They need some R&R &R out of the direct sun so they don't wilt so bad. You also need to make sure that the humidity stays up so they're not spending so much time transpiring and losing what little bit of water they have. You can do it like sleeve stacks and put it down in something that looks like a little ice cream bucket and put some plastic on top of it. I finally found some of these tall clear domes right here and they work great for uh, rooting suckers. But again, keep them out of direct sunlight. Sitting on the counter inside your house somewhere, maybe in a window where it gets a little bit of sun, that's okay. Just don't put them somewhere where the sun is beating down on them. Right here I have some plants that I rooted a couple of weeks ago, actually two weeks ago today. And I took them inside, set them on the kitchen table so they'd be pretty well protected and they wouldn't be uh, subject to the uh, temperature swings like they are out here in the greenhouse. Upper 50s at night, uh, going on up into the low 80s in the daytime. Just keep it nice and consistent, about 68, 70 degrees, and give them a chance to heal up. They've done very well. Nice little roots have already come out the side of the plugs. These guys are ready to go, ready to put in some 4-inch pots with some perlite and then I will manually feed them a reduced uh, nutrient solution to, since they're so small and give them a chance to get going and then another couple of weeks after it warms up a little bit more outside I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a Dutch bucket set up outside and put some of these guys in it. Alright guys to wrap it up if you're looking to get some tomato plants in a hurry and you don't have time to uh, mess with any seed just go out there and cut some suckers off lots of different ways to root these things I like the grow plugs, makes it nice and simple. 
Uh, yes, you can use soil. Just put them in a four inch cup of potting soil. People do it in water all the time, just plain water. It will work, but to make it almost foolproof, I like to grow plugs with the little humidity domes or some kind of a cover over it to keep the moisture in there, protect them from the sunlight, and to almost guarantee the root. If you're out in the garden in the summertime and you can catch it right after a rain, just go in there like this right here, pop that sucker off, and just stick that thing right down in the ground. Not all of them are going to make it, but if you put enough of them there, you'll have enough of them that survive where you can go ahead and get you another late crop of tomatoes. As I said earlier, when it comes to garden, there's a multitude of ways to do things. This is just how I'm doing it right now, and this is what's working for me. So hope that was helpful. Y'all take care, and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.